Welcome to another AnyNode video tutorial. In this episode, we invite you to sit back and watch as we share information on using the tracing of marked routes, a limitation of the trace recording function for certain selected routes. Together with the AnyNode trace analyzer, the tracing of marked routes serves as the basis for a quick analysis of the SIP signaling in interaction with your VoIP infrastructure. The advantages of tracing marked routes are greatly reduced file sizes and lower resource consumption. This is particularly the case on systems with many calls if the tracing is restricted to a specific call number, for instance that of a technician. Otherwise, the trace would very quickly reach a file size of 1 GB and more. With the restriction of a certain number, the other dialed numbers are also hidden and privacy is retained. In order to use the tracing of marked routes, this feature must first be activated. Go to My Account and take Show Trace Stream Marking Settings. We already have an existing configuration consisting of Microsoft Teams Direct Routing with the VoIP provider in the PBX. The mark traces are now available in the route table. Select an existing route. In our example, we select a route to the PBX. With a click on Edit, you open the route assistant, which you used earlier to configure the route. With the activation of Trace Stream Marking, there is now an additional menu item, Tracing. Change the standard setting from No to Yes and close the wizard with Finish. For a better overview, you will now find a note in the root table that Trace Stream Marking has been activated and the relevant route to the route has been marked for it. Then you shouldn't forget to finally accept the entries with Commit. Now all you must do is specify the trace options in the trace settings. Check record, only mark trace data. The trace settings do not have to be confirmed with commit. For a practical test, we would like to show an example in which the trace is restricted to a specific phone number. As already mentioned, this greatly reduces the file size and all other dial connections in the company remain hidden. In our example, we want to record the connection from Microsoft Teams Direct Routing to the PBX when the number 790 is dialed. In our example, this number is a Technican's test PBX phone. To do this, we simply clone the existing route in the route table to the PBX. The route assistant opens with a click on Edit. Here we set a filter for destination dial string with the number 790, so that the route works with the selected number. On the tracing, we activate the trace stream marking with yes. In the root table, it is now important to move the cloned root with the phone number filter and with marked trace streams all the way up, because the root table is always processed from top to bottom. When making the settings in the root, we must not forget to finally accept the entries with commit. For our test, we start a trace and make a call from Microsoft Teams to the PBX, dial number 790, and a second call to the VoIP provider.
In the trace we see that only the route with the dial number 790 to the PBX was recorded. The call to the provider is missing. In addition to the option of recording a specific phone number, the filter function within the root offers many other options for restricting the tracing. This completes our video tutorial. Thanks for watching.